Just in time for the Easter weekend, Chef Paul Lilicus joins us with some delicious dishes you can make and enjoy at home. Nice to see you again. Likewise. <laughs> and, and this is great because we're being told by the province to stay at home, celebrate within your old family. But, I mean, you can still make it special, right? Absolutely. And I can't think of a food that's more celebratory, more special than seafood, than scallops. So I have brought a dish that's not easy or not hard to make. It's rather easy to make, um, but it's celebratory. And then to make it even better, I've brought a local sparkling wine pairing to match. So what I'm making today is scallops in Asiago cream sauce that can be served as an appetizer, as lunch, or as dinner. Oh, I so like that. I'll show you how it's done. It's a versatile. Okay, so it, that's right. So it all starts with a bechamel sauce. So I've already got a roux going here that's just one tablespoon of butter cooked with one tablespoon of flour. And now we're gonna add hot milk. The key to good bechamel sauce is hot milk. You can heat it up in the microwave or on the stove top and then just add it gradually. And what makes this also a little different is we're not adding a lot of milk. And I'll tell you why in a minute. It's and do you use unused. just regular like 2% milk kind of thing? You don't yeah. have to have a heavy cream or anything? Nope, just 2% milk. We're making a, a bechamel, a thick bechamel, and just cook it out. You'll notice it's very thick. You might think this is a mistake, but it's not. Now, we're just going to flavor it with some classic seafood, seafood, um, let's say, pairing flavor. So some Dijon mustard, a little bit of garlic, and some green onions. And that's it. That's all you really need to flavor this sauce. So give that a whisk. Whisking, and how whisking, does the whisking. bechamel differ from other sauces? It's basic. It's, it's, it's kind of like a starting point. So it, as you can see, a bechamel is just the thickened milk. Okay. Now we're starting to customize this, and you can customize it any number of different ways. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And remember I said it was rather thick for a bechamel? That's because we're adding bay scallops. Look at these. They're like little jewels, 300 grams right in and what's going to happen is we're going to poach these in the sauce and and they're going to release liquid as they cook you'll notice the sauce will become creamy again so you just want to cook those gently for maybe five six minutes until you, you'll, you'll notice the difference and they just plump up a little bit and then once that's done we're going to add some asiago so we're going to sprinkle in i've got some that's already been cooked down here and i'm just going to fold in that cheese and what you end up with is this beautiful creamy dish that i like to serve over some grilled sourdough for example as oh, an appetizer nice. or you can or you can serve it with fettuccine my mom loves it that way or over a steak if you want a really rich dish and look how luxurious that is wow and again it's how just... long did it take to cook up to that and and how do you know that the the scallops are finished the scallops cook quite quickly. You'll notice that they just plump up a little bit. They really just take three, four minutes. And then you slowly add the cheese. And if it's still too thin, just gently cook it. Let some of that water evaporate. But all in all, this takes maybe 10 minutes to cook. And of course, I, I mean, I love sparkling wine. People don't often think about pairing it with food, but I've brought this local uh, local sparkling wine. This is from Q Vineyards in Beamsville, right here in Ontario. And this is their Blanc de Blanc. This is a very special sparkling wine. What, what they use is a very old world uh, tradition, which is slowly aging Chardonnay in oak barrels and then finishing it in the bottle for a second fermentation. So what you get is a very bright, crisp on the tongue, refreshing flavor to start and then it finishes with toasty notes toasted nuts um and you need a little vanilla and so it complements rich seafood and of course the toast itself which has that smoke from being grilled it's really fantastic oh, and this is a I special i wish you were dish. here in person doing this so i could actually try some of both me that too, looks awesome me too. <laughs> so a good idea now, I know that uh, supermarkets are filling up uh, quickly and most will be closed on Friday. So a good idea to get those scallops now from your uh, favorite seafood producer. And Paul, thank you very Absolutely. much. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter. Stay safe and you be too. well.